All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. All right, so welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about um an easy way to make your renders on blender ev a some more realistic so as you can see i have a uh, scene set up over here now um let me just go over my scene real quick so here is the uh main model we have a character up there let's go over the lighting so let me turn off the sun objects and uh yeah spotlight all right real quick just to let y'all know we have a uh completely new website as you can see here so if you hit shop we have all the categories so if you go to user interface as you can see and uh the process now should be a lot smoother to download and uh, purchase products you have a search bar up here and if you want to log in sign up but uh yeah with that being said make sure to check our website at gfxcomma.com hope you enjoy this video the reason why the lighting still looks decent for eevee is because we're using this plugin right here it's called ssgi for eevee it's completely free you can look it up download it and uh this is basically what this video is going to be about so as you can see here intensity if i turn this off our scene is going to look terrible um right now with the sun objects turned off and the spotlight we only have the issue right so if i turn this off it's going to be uh not great as you can see let me just undo that now basically what this plugin does is it's a global illumination so if you see the lights and with our xgri if we turn this on put this on one it basically spreads the light out and bounces it around the geometry of this object so we turn on the sun as you can see now the lighting is affecting the environment and uh bouncing around as you can see we have that and one more spotlight which uh is pretty hard to see but it's there so now i'm going to show you another example so you could get a better idea of uh what i'm talking about all right so uh here we are in this uh restaurant scene I did a while back now if I go to SSGI I'm going to hit uh, remove right over here and as you can see this is base EV um, with even with all of these uh, lighting objects we have this is the final results which uh, doesn't look that great doesn't compare to having this on so I'm going to go over how I set it up and the settings I chose and why so set up ssgi once you install it all you gotta do is you gotta hit add ssgi right and as you can see now the first thing i do is i go to ssr thickness right over here and i just uh turn it up to usually around 500 as you can see and it instantly has results we could compare and contrast with the intensity so if we turn this back off zero you can see the results put this back on one uh, you can tweak the settings scatter diffuse normals as you can see um, usually you shouldn't really have to mess with most of these settings I don't think so but uh, as you can see this made our entire scene a lot more realistic it's pretty much instantly so let's take a look around my scene I'm pretty sure I did a video on this uh, the scene right here. Yeah, it's called uh, Restaurant Breakdown, where I broke down how I set this uh, entire thing up. So let's go for this angle. Uh, yeah, if we turn this off, zero. You can see the entire scene just basically goes dark. And uh, without this plugin, this is base EV. So yeah, having this is uh, pretty much a game changer. If we put this back on one you can see the lights bounces around the entire scene the pillars the, 
curtains and uh, everything just looks how it's supposed to be right glossy strength I don't really mess with that setting much um, diffuse roughness uh, you can see the change maybe turn this down but uh, yeah that's going to be it for this video uh, I suggest you to try out this plugin give it a try download it and uh, yeah test it on your scenes see uh, the difference it could make and uh, yeah with that being said I hope you enjoyed this video um, subscribe leave a like and I will see you all next time Thank you.